Hello families, this video is just to give a brief overview of how the website Common Lit works. This is one of the choices our students have on their list of suggested activities. I'm using a test class right now just to show you how it works. For my students, they will access the assignments through the links on Google Classroom and I'll be posting a video for them about that later. But this video could be used for anybody who just wants to see the student view of what to do with Common Lit. So once the students are on their Common Lit page, they're signed in and they are on the assignments, they will see any assignments that are um, provided to them. This one is Girls of the Crescent. And if they want to start, they just click on it. This is just a reminder of what they should be looking for as they read. It says, as you read, take notes on why Mina and Zena decided to create the Girls of the Crescent organization. So it kind of gives them a brief overview of the assignment and what they should be paying attention to. The cool thing about Common Lit is it allows them to annotate as they read the assignment. So click got it, and they're now on the assignment. They can choose font size. So if the font is too small, they can increase it. Um, there is a read aloud option that will read the article to them. Uh, translate, we're not really using, but if this is somebody watching the video from somewhere else, that may be an option. This is the annotate button, which I love. It allows them to highlight and add notes as they read. So as they're reading through the article, if they find something that they think is important, so for example, um, but one thing was missing, we never saw, in the books we read, we never saw ourselves represented. So they can choose to highlight that text. And they can also choose, if they highlight it again, they can choose to add like a sticky note to say like why it's important or any other thoughts that they have on that. One thing that I use Common Lit for is I use the guided reading options. This just ensures that they're really paying attention to what they read as they read it. It has guided questions. So for each section, so for each section, it gives them a section to read, blurs out the rest, and they have to answer the guided read a question correctly before they can move on to the next part of the text. And you'll see it blurs out the rest of it. They can try these guided read guided reading questions as many times as they need to to get through but they may need to go back and reread in order to find the answers. So for example, this one, what did Mina and Zena realize about the books they read? Well, that was that part that we highlighted right here. Um, the books were missing characters that were Muslim women. So we'd select that. It tells us that we are correct and allows us to move on to the next part. So now the next part is available. And when you get to it for them to see it, they click on Q2 and that gives them the next question. So how are Mina and Zena filling libraries with books? So it asks that we'd have to find through, read the article to find it. Um, I'm going to click down here. I don't know if it will let me. Nope. It's not going to let me do it before then. So this is not an article that I have previously read. Um, talking to PTA, asking for donations. So we'll pick that. And then there's the third question. What is the main goal to make sure everyone is represented? Okay, so once that's done, now they have the option to begin the assessment. And then now they have assessment questions. What I want you to pay attention to on this is a lot of the questions will say part A, and part B, meaning the answer to part A should affect their answer to part B. So they need to really pay attention to that. Usually it's a question, like this one's about the central or main idea, and the next is asking them to support it with evidence from the text. And if they click on these highlighted parts, it will usually take them to the part where they really need to focus on. And um, 
or where that information can be found in the article. So it's really helpful. So if they're having trouble, I highly suggest clicking on those links. As they answer, it will just go through the questions. The last question is usually a short answer. I like my students to use the wrap strategy. So they restate the question, answer, and then provide evidence from the text. Providing that evidence from the text is really important. So that's where they refer back to something specific from the story that supports their answer. A lot of times it's an opinion question, but they should be able to support their opinion with, um, with evidence from the text. And once that's done, once they've answered everything, then it will allow them to submit the answer to the teacher. Then the teacher can come back in and give feedback on their answers, and they can see that later or go back and adjust their answers to the questions. So when you see your students working on this, this is kind of what they should be doing. I highly encourage them to read carefully. That's why I do enable the guided reading mode. Um, words that they are unfamiliar with, if they click, it will give them definitions to words that, that kind of expects them to maybe not be familiar with. Um, and again, if they need to use that read aloud option, that is there. If you have any other questions, go ahead and contact me through Seesaw on how to use Common Lit. Thank you.